to Face to Face, and today we're going to go to Colombia, we're going to talk about politics, we're going to talk about election, we're going to talk about peace process. I'm with Carlos, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. You have a lot of news to, to tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, uh, the, uh, the election for president election after the peace process. Uh, maybe we can start with the second turn of the election and then we will talk about what's come up with the next uh, turn on Sunday. Yes, we, we did have the first round on uh, May 27. Okay. Um, Several candidates were running, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the two of them were selected for the runoff election that is going to take place in June uh, the 17th. Okay, and uh, it's a it's a very important process for this is the very first time that Colombia gets to elect a president after the, the peace, peace agreement movement. with the with the guerrilla movement mm -hmm. uh, FARC mm -hmm. uh, took place. So basically, what is on the table right now is whether to move forward. With, with this process, implementing the agreement, yeah. or to step back, and according to the to the candidate that that is against the the agreement, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, rewrite or to to, uh, uh, to go to back modify, to the, yeah. exactly to yeah. modify the agreement, yeah. which is kind of difficult. And and so a lot of power. I mean, a lot of uh, weight was on the peace agreement was about democracy. Mm -hmm. So the elections are very, very, one of the most important elections of the last 50 years, more or less. It's uh, in, in my, in, from my perspective, uh, these are the most important elections in the history of the country. Yeah. This is the very first time that Colombia had uh, elections um, uh, without having any a, any um, war, any, any any fights, any armed confrontation. People were not killed. No one was killed. No one was kidnapped. No one was assass assassinated. People came out and voted. Mm -hmm. They voted in favor of change. Mm -hmm. Change meaning in favor of peace. Mm -hmm. And by that we mean uh, that the candidates such as uh, um, Sergio Fajardo and yeah. Gustavo Petro uh, and um, former Vice President de la Calle, all together, uh, uh, got more than 50% of That's the votes. A, and because I got a lot of friends who are Colombian and they were very depressed when I got the result. And I'm like, look at the number. If you add the number after the peace process mm -hmm. sign, mm -hmm. it's a very interesting second steps to that peace process with a lot of difficulties. I know the FARC had a lot of issues during the elections. The campaign was very complicated, but still it's a very interesting moment. It is, it is a very interesting moment and a, and a very important moment. Yeah. People in Colombia who mm -hmm. love the peace, mm -hmm. those of us who are in favor of peace, mm -hmm. need to learn how to come together yeah. and move forward with these agreements, implementing the agreements. Mm -hmm. Now, the, 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 the challenge now is yeah. that we, we have two candidates for the second round. Yeah. We have Duque, who's basically running on the platform of fo former President yeah. Uribe. Yeah. Who, oh, it's a uh, right win. I mean, it's a yeah, Trump. Exact, exactly. I call it the Trump of, of Colombia. I mean, it's it. it Most more, <laughs> more or less, more or less. Uh, <laughs> to exemplify the discussion. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, the other candidate is uh, uh, Gustavo Petro, yeah. the former mayor of, of, uh, of Bogota, Bogota. Yeah. who was also the best senator in, in, in while he was in, in Congress. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the, their proposals uh, divert. Now, the, the key point here is whether we, those of us who are progressive, those of us who believe that society needs to change in Colombia, that you need to make the poor working class richer, that people should have access to education rather than the elites. And to the land. And to, to the to land, to the, to the actual uh, uh, means of production. Yeah. Uh, if, if we are going to be able to come together mm -hmm. and support his proposals. Mm -hmm. That's that's the that's the great debate. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, what you have uh, on the right leaning uh, uh, side is what I call a uh, brave cowards. Mm -hmm. Those of all, you know, Duque, who speaks about the war, who speaks about you know changing the agreements, mm -hmm. Uribe, uh, Duque didn't serve in the military. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. I was mm -hmm. I was drafted in the in the Colombian army. Yeah. Duque didn't. Former President Uribe. He didn't. Although he sent too many, so many people to their deaths, and then to, to, his to, to, children yeah. were eligible 
to be in, in, drafted into the military yeah. that, that is actually mandatory under the Colombian Constitution yeah. and law. Yeah. Yeah. However, he kept his children, his two, his two, his two kids outside of the yeah. army yeah. Yeah. while other people went yeah. to die yeah, no. for their privilege. No, no, and it's the same thing with Gaviria, yeah. Yeah. Gaviria's son, Vargas Llera. So what, I, what, what, what we are discussing in Colombia at this point is whether the poor working class and the farmers are going to continue dying to keep the privilege of the rich elites in Bogota. But that's a discussion all over. But the, mm -hmm. the problem, and, 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 and that I saw during the campaign, is people have difficulties on the left side to find a common ground mm -hmm. and to work as, as a common project. Mm -hmm. Exactly. With each one of them, the specific quality. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that everything has to be monetized to one person or to one party or to one ideas. No, 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 you can have your ideas. And I'm going to give you the example of Chile of the Fronte Amplio mm -hmm. with a coalition of, it's, it's, uh, it's an organization of, organization who came from the student movement mm -hmm. who were able in two years to get 20% of the, of the vote and they got 20 people elected mm -hmm. into, uh, into the high level of, of the government in, in Chile because they were able to work together in on the platform and, and organizing this ample front mm -hmm. uh, and, and really go through that process. And, I, and that's always what I say to my friend Colombians. I say, if people are really on the left, they should be able to find their place into that project. And sometimes you have to be in the front and sometimes you, you have to be on the back. I mean, we all know that. It, it's nothing new. It's, you know, Raymond Williams has explained that there are basically, you know, to simplify a very complex document, there are basically two ways to change a society. Yeah. By creating displacement yeah. or transition yeah. or by creating ruptures yeah. of revolutions. Yeah. Now, Colombia has tried the ruptures and the revolutions for more than 70 years yeah. in the last opportunity. We when you say revolution, you say violent revolution. Exactly, you say arm, arm arms confrontations. Yeah. You know. Then I now, just want to, yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. to clarify that. Yeah. that. Uh, the other way yeah. is to accept that you are not going to get all your wishes at once yeah. and that you can move forward yeah. developing common ground yeah. and making society go in the right direction. Yeah. So what, what the, us, the progressives, what us, the, 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 uh, the Democrats, those who believe in democracy, uh, need to do is to find a way to settle for ba basic fundamental points that, that we can all agree upon. And that's a big discussion in Colombia. And that's a big discussion uh, abroad. The Col you know, 10% of the Colombian population lives outside of the country. So this is also an election taken outside of, of, of the country for the Colombian nation goes beyond the, the, the land. The, 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 the land. Mm -hmm. So, um, so let, let's go back to the, to the actual situation, like day-to-day -day, mm -hmm. uh, situation politically. The, 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 the second turn is very soon. Mm -hmm. and, and so what's happening? Does the union happening or the union is not happening? Mm, it, uh, it, there are... It, it's, it's complicated. Exactly. Uh, the former candidate, Sergio Fajardo, who was supported by, by many, 4.5 million people voted for him. Yeah. He says that he's, he's going to cast a blank ballot. Yeah. And so, uh, so does uh, 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 Senator Fajardo, who's a leader in, in the Polo Democratico Party. Yeah. Uh, and uh, obviously, from my perspective, they are making a big mistake. mistake. Yeah. For, uh, for uh, uh, in order to be consistent with their own histories, yeah. they are doing it at the expense yeah. of the lives yeah. and peace yeah. of people who might go but to war. But this is a virus. We call it the, the virus of the, of the summit. Mm -hmm. it, it, and it, Clinton lost the election because of that. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton in the US lost the election. She believed that she was able to do it by herself. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't have Sanders to help. She mm -hmm. didn't include Sanders. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton with Sanders, it was a win-win. Mm -hmm. It was no problem. It was Trump will never existed. Mm -hmm. But because of the belief, then you, it's, it's like the cowboy story. It's like I am, I'm doing it myself. I'm a self-made man. Mm -hmm. And that's come from the North, from, from the West. It's a concept. 
And and this is a very strong issue and but a strong there are, problem. There are alternatives to that. Oh, and, I know. And, and the one alternative that I would suggest at yeah. this point, yeah. it's it's a, it's we are less than 12 days away from yeah. the election. Yeah. The one alternative is to bypass uh, these leaders yeah. who are obviously withdrawing and resigning their yeah. leadership. Yeah. That's what they are doing. Yeah, they yeah. are resigning no, no. their leadership yeah. in favor yeah. of their personal yeah. projects I or their political exactly, projects. Exactly. So what what uh, candidate Petro, who's the, yeah. who's the one who's supporting the peace, yeah. which is what I believe yeah. in, yeah, yeah. could do yeah. is, is to call for the uh, actual people to establish a direct connection with him, mm -hmm. and that would bring uh, uh, some synergy to the to uh, to the election. We also mm -hmm. need intellectuals. Mm -hmm. uh, we need leaders. Mm -hmm. We need mothers. Yes, mothers. We need women to come out and support yeah, yeah. peace agree the peace yeah, agreement yeah. and vote on the yeah. right side of history. No, and, uh, we need the the, the Afro uh, uh, community to uh, yeah. to uh, the people from the. Uh, the the, uh, the land, the people from uh, uh, to 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 organize themselves, but it's it's this is our problem in the left. This is the only problem we have. It's everyone believe then they can resolve their own problem by themselves. It, it does remind me a, a situation that I discussed with my students when they are yeah. writing a, a thesis. Okay. Uh, they, they, they sometimes they, they are overwhelmed with the project and yeah. they never want to uh, uh, actually finish it. Yeah. Uh, and this is what I tell them. Yeah. Listen, this is one piece of writing. This is not the only and the last yes. chance you exactly. have to write something. Exactly. So this I would say yeah, to, yeah. to the progressives in Colombia, yeah, yeah. this is the first time but this is not the last time. Exactly. So let's no, move we forward. No, we have the same, with, with, I the same problem in Occupy in New York City. It mm -hmm. was the same story. Mm -hmm. It was people were overpowering their own, mm -hmm. and then they were blocking situations. They were objecting some processes, and the project never happened. I can give you. I don't have time to to explain to you more. But that's really one of the big issues of today's world. It's it's this individuality put at the extreme, or overshadows the mm -hmm. common project and it's really a big complication that we need to overcome and i've trust the colombian because because mm -hmm. the, this process was really a fantastic mm -hmm. process it was really interesting uh, it was uh, something who opens the future it changed the life of millions of people already then you want is to not people have changed their life i'm with the colombian committee for the last 15 mm -hmm. years and 15 years ago People say we cannot do anything in Colombia. I never heard this phrase anymore mm -hmm. for the last five years, six years. I know things have changed. Yeah, that, and, that, that's and, 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 and let me tell you, although I am, I'm, I am vehement at, at making my points, uh -huh. and although I am disappointed on the on Fajardo for, for oh, not, yeah. not leading yeah, yeah. the, 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 in the right surprised. way. I'm not surprised. Yeah. But, but. but although I am disappointed on, on, on him, I am still optimistic. Yeah. I believe that yeah. Colombians yeah. have reached a point yeah. in history where they yeah. have decided to be in peace. And people have asked them to get together mm -hmm. to be able to to create some kind of union. So, so uh, we see how it goes. Anything you want to add before we wrap up? I just want to tell uh, Colombians living abroad okay. that we are still part of the nation okay. and that we have to participate okay. in our el electoral processes. It's do very you, important. Do you for teach us. in New York? You want to tell more about what you do? Or? I am a, a professor of cultural studies at the City University of New York oh, City College, Kenya, and I wrote a book about El Chapulín Colorado. Ah, but that's another story. That's, 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 <laughs> you have to come back with a book. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Thank you for the great information. And uh, that was Face to Face. And please keep watching your news on Presenza. Subscribe to get your news on a daily basis. And uh, we hope to see you very soon. Thank you very much.